Let's say I've got a table like this, which has the names of people, the group and the subjects. And I want to quickly see what is the unique names that I have. I want to see how many unique names are there in group A. I want to see how many unique names are there in group B. Or else I want to see the unique names with two different arguments. Well, it's very easily possible with pivot tables, but then pivot tables take some time. What if there's a better way and a quick way to do it? Here is when we'll use the unique function. Let's use this function and resolve our queries one by one. Now, the first thing that I want in this table is I just want unique names there in column C. So what I'm going to use is a unique function, which goes like equal to unique bracket start. And then I'll select this entire array, parent close and enter. Here you go. You can see that I just got the unique names here. Now on top of this, if you want to sort it alphabetically, you can just put this entire function into a sort function. So you can see that these names are sorted alphabetically as well. Now in the second case, I want unique names in group A and unique names in group B separately. So let me first approach group A. What I'm going to do is that to get the unique names in group A, I'm going to first filter out the names in group A and then put it inside a unique function. So how will this function go? It'll go like equal to filter. I'll select the first column, this range, comma, the second range. And against the second range, I'll put it equal to A, bracket close. Now this gives me the names in group A, but as you can see that these are not unique names. Now what I'll be doing is that I'll put this entire function inside a unique function. Here we go. We have the unique names in group A. Similarly, I can use the same function for group B as well. Put it inside unique. And you have the unique names in group B. Now let's say we want unique values with multiple criteria. Just for example, we would want unique names in group B with size. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to use a filter function equal to filter, select the array for the names, comma, the group, make it equal to B, comma, select the subject and make it equal to size. So here you can see that we have the filtered list, but as you can see that some of the names are duplicated and we want unique names. So we'll just add a unique function in front of the filter function. Here we go. We have the unique names of people in group B with signs. So friends, you can see that how easy it is to get unique values with multiple criteria. This would surely save you a lot of time and avoid pivot tables wherever possible. If you want quick results and you're just doing some quick calculations, I would recommend using unique with filters rather than going and preparing a new pivot table. And yes, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time a new video is uploaded.